ginagamit ko rin tong word na to. But ngayon, hindi ko na siya gagamitin kasi as I heard and watched the video of um, of a YouTuber na yung word na to ay hindi pala hindi pala siya kailangan gagamitin natin. So, instead of Welcome back to my channel. Kung bago pa lang kayo sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell button para maging notify na rin kayo sa mga susunod kong videos. Uh, itong video na to, uh, meron akong ituturo sa inyo at I hope na magagamit nyo ito someday or kung kayo ay um, magsusulat and then mga comments din sa Facebook and you can use you can use this um, ituturo ko sa inyo this is about kahit ako minsan ginagamit ko rin to ginagamit ko rin tong word na to but ngayon hindi ko na siya gagamitin kasi as I heard and watched the video of um of a YouTuber na yung word na to ay hindi pala hindi pala siya kailangan gagamitin natin so instead of using it in a sentence and this word is um, for example may mamatayan na? to the bereaved family bereaved means yung namatayan okay so kahit ako ginagamit ko rin yung word na condolence Condolence, patid, diba? Kahit ikaw, ginagamit mo rin. Pero, uh, wrong pala yan. Hindi dapat siya gagamitin natin na ganyan lang. Instead of using it in a sentence. So, this video, tuturuan ko pa kayo some of the sentences that you can use na kung mag-comment mag kayo or mag, um, sa letter nyo, ganyan. So, itong mga work, itong mga sentences na to ay mag, ito yung dapat na gagamitin natin. Okay. So, this is um, sentences for expressing sympathy to the bereaved family. Okay. So, instead of saying condolence, so you can say, I'm sorry for your loss. Again, I'm sorry for your loss. Next, number two. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Next, you can also say, please accept my deepest condolences for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences for your loss. Yan dapat ang gagamitin instead of using only condolence or condolences. Another one, you can also use, you have my deepest sympathy. You have my deepest sympathy. Yan dapat gagamitin natin. Another one, you can also use, I offer my sincere condolences to you and your family. I offer my sincere condolences to you and your family. Ayan, yung limang sentences, yan magagamit niyan. Kung uh, mag-comment kayo or mag, uh, magsusulat ng letter no, to the bereaved family yun sa mga namatayan so uh, yun lang po I hope na meron kayong natutunan sa video na to and you can use that okay instead of using of writing comment like condolence or condol condolences okay so you can use these sentences okay maraming salamat sa yung panunood and I hope that you have learned something from this video Again, number one, you can say, I'm sorry for your loss. 
Next, you can say, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences for your loss. You have my deepest sympathy. And the last one, I offer my sincere condolences to you and your family. Ayan. So, yan magagamit niya yan. You know, giving comments sa mga namatayan. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope na meron kayong matutunan. And, and I'm happy to um, hear that from you. Na uh, ginagamit niyo yan. And um, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.